going to talk to you about our lives. But first, let's talk about someone else's life. Arguably, he's one of the best basketball players of all time. He has six NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Awards, six gold medals, two of which are from the Olympics, 10 All-NBA First Team designations, nine All-Defensive First Team honors, and, well, I think you got an idea, but even he had his downfalls. His name is Michael Jordan. He has a famous quote which tells only a small part of the path that he went through in order to succeed. It states, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. I've uh, 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and miss. I failed over and over and over again in my life. That is why I succeed. With his billions of dollars, popularity, fans, fascinating car collection, and basically his whole life, Michael Jordan makes some people dream to be him and live his life. But no one dreams about the amount of effort that he has put in. And most importantly, the majority does not understand that these particular dreams are impossible. Let me tell you a story about a boy who's very interested in basketball and who one day goes to his father and tells him, Dad, I want to succeed in life. I want to be Michael Jordan. At this point, the father does not know what to do. He thinks a bit and then responds with the following. Unfortunately, son, I cannot tell you how to become Michael Jordan or, as you say, how to succeed in life because I just don't know. But let me tell you the following parable. Very long ago, there was a ruler who had a huge and astonishing garden where he really liked to spend most of his time. One day, he went to his garden for his usual walk when he was very badly surprised. I may even say he was terrified. All of his flowers and trees were withering. What's going on? The king was asking while walking around. The oak was the first one to respond, and she said that she was dying because she wanted to be as tall as the fir tree, but she couldn't. In turn, the fir explained that she was so unlucky that she couldn't produce the sweet grapes that the vine could. I would like to tell you, the vine wasn't happy as well. She started crying because she wasn't as beautiful as the lily, which was so envious of the oak tree because it was strong and powerful. The poor king was walking along the alleys of his dying garden, not knowing what to do. Then, suddenly, he saw a very small flower with vivid colors and pleasant scents. What about you? asked the king. How is it that you are alive and all of the others are dying? I, your majesty, am Frisia. I bloom because I don't try. Well, and I don't want to be someone else, said the flower wisely. And this is what happens every single day. Think about it. Do you want to be one of the dying flowers or you want to bloom like the little Frisia? What a father wanted to tell his son is that if he tries to be a different person, he most likely will not succeed, but will depress himself and will be awfully disappointed because whatever he does, he will not be able to become Michael Jordan. Now, this does not mean that he lacks the talent or the passion for basketball. It just means that he is a different person who should follow his own life path. And this is what we should understand and remind ourselves again and again every single day. As people who live in the 21st century, we are constantly surrounded by all sorts of ratings and classifications of the richest people in the world, of the most beautiful girls or boys, of the most successful, most wanted and respected persona. Honestly, 
We shouldn't be surprised that most of us tend to dream to be a different person. While we are being so absorbed by other people's looks and achievements though, we forget the most important part, our own individual identity. We tend to forget that there is no other person like us in this world. And unfortunately, we usually mislead ourselves and let depression swallow us up and make us give up on our dreams and passions. I personally strongly believe that the simple fact that people don't believe in themselves and are not confident enough is the exact reason why most of us don't achieve the so desired happiness and success. At this point, you may ask me, well, what am I supposed to do when I just can't achieve the success of Michael Jordan or some other famous person? And here's my answer. The cure is right in front of us. It's right in front of you. And it has always been there. Perspective. It's the way we look at ourselves and our self-belief. Whether we know our, tr our true value and how special we are, or we only respect other people and their talents and abilities and achievements. Now, saying that, I don't mean that we should only concentrate on ourselves. If I did say that, I would be entirely wrong. We do need to pay attention to other people and learn from them. Here is an inspirational quotation. We all need someone who inspires us to do better than we know how. Although these words are anonymous, they are full of wisdom and thought. Professors of psychology, Todd Trash and Andrew Elliott support this, su support this quote by noting in the Harvard Business Review that the heights of human motivation spring from the beauty and goodness that precede us and awaken us for better possibilities. Throughout our lives, all of us meet people who inspire us in a certain way. Be it the way they dribble the basketball, the number of languages they speak, or even the way they talk to their dog. Those people may change our life by inspiring us to try something new, by motivating us to follow our dreams and succeed, and by introducing us to new perspectives. I personally have idols who helped me and inspired me to become better. When I was in the middle school, I used to imagine that I was Hermione Granger, that very smart girl who had the enthusiasm to follow her academic goals. And I still kind of believe that this is what helped me and gave me the energy to juggle with everything that I had to do at that point and all of my extra classes. To tell you a secret, I still believe Hermione helps me sometimes. So it turns out that other people may help us, be they real or characters from a book or a movie, could be. But what is wrong with the statement, I want to be Michael Jordan then? Looking at what I've just said, we could say that wanting to be like the great basketball player will be beneficial. But there is a difference between being inspired by Michael Jordan and actually wanting to be him. In the first case, we are motivated to build upon what we already have, develop our talents and abilities, explore possibilities, and even go beyond the limits, becoming the inspiration for other people. While in the second case, we only concentrate on the idea that we want to be Michael Jordan. We want to be him, which, unlike the situation in the first case, is impossible because, as I already said, we are different. Setting impossible goals, not, no, not goals that are extremely hard to fulfill, but goals that just cannot be achieved, like being a different person, for example, affects us very badly as we try and try and then we give up disregarding everything that we have accomplished so far. That is, that is why, ladies and gentlemen, 
You're the only ones who can determine whether you're going to be one of the happy and successful people or one of those drowning in a sea of grief. Just like the little boy, all of you have idols and people you would want to be. But remember one thing. You are blessed to be who you are, and no one could be you, nor you could be someone else. Don't make the mistake that the flowers from the parable make. Be the beautiful Frisia. Be yourself. Believe in yourself. Be proud of who you are, and you are going to bloom. That is why I implore you not to waste even a second in regretting that you are not someone you would want to be, but rather use the precious minutes to be the best version of yourself and to fulfill your dreams and succeed. And don't forget that it's never too late to be what you might have been.